What up? Welcome back. It is Bones. And in this one, let's do a topic video. Now, I've actually been wanting to talk about this for a while. And with some recent pickups, I just thought it was the perfect time to bring this subject up and just talk about it a little bit. And that, of course, is buying multiples. Now, if you know me, <laughs> I have some certain figures that I just went crazy on and I had to buy multiples. I'm not sure why. It just depends what the figure is. And although I'm not really a big army builder, I mean, I will army build. It just depends what it is. I mean, I do have three of the gold label dark flashes here behind me and I still have one in box. And there's been other figures that I just have multiples of. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure why it is. Now, I've never been a big army builder, so that's not the main reason why I do it. I think the main reason why I do it is because I'm a customizer, or it just depends if I really enjoy the figure. And usually if I see some potential for some customization or just certain things that I like to tweak on a figure, I will end up buying multiples. Another rule I have is that Usually when I do a big custom, I mean, when I totally revamp a figure, I always like to have one in its original release form, just like Lobo. I do have like my completely repainted, redone figure, but then I do have just your standard release up on my shelf. And staying on that topic, you know, a couple of days ago, I went into Target and I did find Animal Man. Now, I thought he was a pretty good looking figure. So, of course, I will buy two. One to open and review and one to keep mint in box in my mint in box collection. But there was four of them on the pegs and I already had planned this before. I wanted to do a jacket version of Animal Man. So I went ahead and picked up a third one at the same time. Now, the problem with this is that if anybody else goes into the store after me, they're just going to see one Animal Man. And I can see where that's kind of like a negative. But then again, in my area, there are four targets. So if you wanted to look for Animal Man, you're just going to have to hunt him down the way I did. Now, one thing I would never do is I do not buy figures like this and have multiples and do it so that I could resell them. I have never resold a figure online. Part of that is because I really don't like shipping things. That's something that I just don't like to do. So that kind of turns me off from like flipping figures. Um, I remember a while back when we were doing the gold labels that were hard to find, like the Shazam and the Nightfall Azrael. I had found triples of all of those. So although, like in this picture, you could see doubles, I took this after I already had opened one. So I actually found three of each of these gold labels and I picked them up. Now, the only other way I would, you know, buy multiples is like, is like to share them with, you know, other collectors if they ask me if I find one, which is really rare, but I do have my close collector friends that I do that with. But I mean, if you have the money and you have, the reason that you want to buy multiples, I really don't see anything wrong with it. Now, I have seen pictures online of, you know, people that just went ham. Like I saw a guy that had 20 Merciless figures, which was really crazy because that's a collectible figure. And I don't know how he had 20 <laughs> uh, Merciless figures. But then again, I have eight King Sharks. So, I mean, who am I to talk? But I just think it's a real touchy subject because I have over time gotten certain comments where people are like, oh, that's why we can't find those because you buy all of them or oh, people only need one figure. Why are you buying more than one? And I'm just like, you know, there is reasons why I do it. And that is because I want one mint in box. I want one open and maybe I have a customization idea for one. And that's just it. I mean, I don't do it for nefarious reasons <laughs> or that nobody could buy them. But I just feel like it's an open market 
And there's no law against buying multiple figures. Sometimes it just happens that way. Like right now, I actually have two inbox Grim Knights. And there's one right here behind me. But then I also have eight loose Grim Knights. Most of them are customized. I think two I still have in their original form. But that just came from seeing them online for really cheap. And it is basically my favorite alternate Batman from McFarlane ever released. I did do a version where I changed the boots out so he wouldn't have those, you know, really ugly boot joints that the first original release had. Another figure that this happened with was Peacemaker. Now, I'm not sure <laughs> why this happened, but I ended up having about eight Peacemakers. I uh, did a lot of customs. I actually did a, a John Cena Screaming Head custom, which I really enjoy. And those are just things that happen on their own, like organically. So I don't really fight it when it happens. If I come across a cheap figure and I have an idea to customize it, then I will just purchase it. You know, it's like I don't do it to rob people <laughs> of the opportunity to have them. Now, I do believe if you buy like a whole pack and you're planning on just flipping them. Now, you are kind of walking a tightrope when you do that because we don't usually necessarily know which figures will go up in value and which ones will actually go down. So like if you ended up buying a bunch of Superboy Primes, the first one, those are going right now for like $10, $15. So you probably ended up, you know, buying a pack of those and not really being able to make any money from it. But if you bought the con -El Superboy in a whole box, those are actually starting to creep up and cost a little bit more money. If you were to hold on to those, you may end up being able to sell them for $30, $40 each. But that's just the game we play when we're collectors. We don't know which figures will actually go up in value and which ones will actually go down in value. So that's why I never actually play that game of thinking that if I buy a bunch of the same figures that maybe later they'll be worth money. I just don't do that. But we all have different collecting habits. One of my habits is if you have multiple heads, I always like to display each head. That's why <laughs> I'm not a big fan of giving alternate heads. We just had the Jim Gordon as Batman. And of course, I had to buy extra figures so that I could display the original head and then also the unmasked head. And I don't blame anybody for this. This is just the way I collect. And these are you know, <laughs> my burdens to bear when I, I have to buy more figures. But, you know, I just hope that they never give, you know, two alternate heads because then I'll have to buy three figures to display each different head. And then I'll still have extra heads just lying around, which, you know, it's not that bad for customizing and to have fodder heads. But it's just something that's not ideal for me. I mean, we had the original Hush Superman that had the heat vision eyes. And then later on, they released the, you know, standard version with no heat vision eyes. So that's fine for me because each one of them had their own body. But I can see how some people get annoyed by that. And they would rather have just had one figure with an alternate head. But like I said before, for me, that would kind of be a negative instead of a positive for everybody else. So I don't try and dictate what McFarlane releases or how many heads or how many versions of a character. I just basically go buy whatever is released and then I decide if I want to buy multiples or not. Now, of course, we are <laughs> creatures of habit. And if we come across a rare figure that's, you know, going for cheap or you just happen to get lucky, of course, everybody would probably, you know, pounce on that and just pick it up. And then again, you are hearing from a guy who has three veins, two out of box and one in box. So I mean, I'm hardly the person to be giving advice of not, you know, not to be buying multiples. The one good thing is that everybody has their own choices. Everybody has their own money to spend. And far be it from me to tell anybody not to army build or not to buy multiples. Because although it does seem wrong sometimes, you are actually supporting the line by buying multiple figures. Although some people kind of see it 
as that you're being greedy or trying to keep all the figures for yourself, which I don't necessarily do. I just go by if I want another figure or if I find it cheap. Or like I said before, if I want to do some customizing, then I'll pick up an extra figure. I don't know if other people think like me where you're free to buy, you know, multiples if you want to. They think that maybe scalping or flipping figures is wrong. I don't really have an opinion on that necessarily because it is an open market and you're allowed to do whatever you want. And like I said, you could end up buying figures and trying to flip them and you end up actually losing money. Not to mention all the um, shipping and stuff that you have to go through, which is a hassle that I just really try to avoid. But what I am going to do is I am going to get work on making one of these Animal Man with an actual jacket. So be looking forward to that video. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys buy multiples? Do you think it's wrong? Do you think it's cool? But one thing for sure, keep hunting out there. Keep collecting. Keep customizing. And I will see you on the next one. Crazy Joe, but now they can call me Batman.